This video is brought to you by the EA Creator Network. Thanks to those guys, I'm able to jump into this capture event and get the content out to you guys. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> I hurt my shoulder doing that. Hey, hey assistant coach, how are you guys doing? It's me, Johnny Sports, or should I say Cristiano Ronaldo Jr. Did you see that suit earlier on? I can do it, bro. I don't think that's true. Anyways, welcome to the first My Player series on this channel in FIFA 22. I was telling you guys all the time, ever since we have seen the news on FIFA 22 career mode, I've been telling you regular career mode is fine. Yeah, creator club is a cool thing to have, but my player is where it's at this year. Trust me, guys, if you, have, if you haven't done my player in previous years, this year it's worth it. And it's on your screen as to why it's going to be worth it as well. I have created Cristiano Ronaldo Jr. Yes, he is the son of the legend himself currently back at Manchester United scoring goals. And we are going to be trying to recreate the storyline of Cristiano Ronaldo or go away from it and go against it. Maybe join Manchester City. Who knows? The story is going to be completely interesting throughout the entirety of this series. I am looking forward to it. But before we get any further, lads, I haven't posted my player since my real life my player series that I have posted back in the day, like back, back in the day. If you guys are excited about this content, make sure to smash that like button because trust me, FIFA 22 my player is where it's at. And I'm so excited to have a new experience in this game. I can't wait to jump into it. And I hope you guys will be subscribing to this series and to the channel to make sure that you never miss out on any episodes, I will be creating a playlist for this one, just in case you guys will miss a piece in the sub box. Let's start it off immediately. Attributes, using skill points. Skill points allow you to add to your player's attributes. Bearing in mind your preferred positions, adding certain attributes will also improve your player's overall rating. Thank you. Earn skill points, earn XP to improve your player's level and earn additional skill points to allow you to further develop him. That is going to be quite interesting as well. A new thing, a new system has been added in and you have archetype nodes. Now, this is where things get, get a little bit spicy. <laughs> that stutter, it's priceless. Anyways, archetype nodes offer significant improvements to specific attributes which help create and define your player's individual playing style. They come at higher cost though. So the skill tree, are we going to be seeing it? We are starting off our career as a center forward who is 67 rated. Don't know why I'm a center forward. Should have been a striker. Hopefully that's not going to be an issue. Hopefully we can train ourselves to become a different type of position. Because if so, if not, I will maybe have to completely restart the series. I was supposed to be a striker. Yeah, and <laughs> that was the original plan. I don't know what happened there. But we have skill points, seven skill points. We can distribute them through physical improvements, defensive improvements, which are obviously not going to be that important for an attacking player like ourselves. Dribbling, very important for us. Passing play, somewhat important for a striker. Shooting, huge, pace, massive. Goalkeeping, don't need that. So, in my opinion, when it comes to early stages, dribbling is going to be quite important. I feel like it's going to be very, very important to improve our agility, improve our dribbling and ball control. Then, of course, we're going to go with some pace added in. Acceleration, in my opinion, can be sometimes a lot more important than sprint speed. So we're going to go with acceleration boosts here. Taking ourselves up to around... Ooh, this one costs quite a bit, huh? I only have two points left. All good. And then shooting-wise, we're going to go with the finishing improvements because we will be playing up front most of the time. And that should hopefully lead to us getting lots and lots of goals. Long shots for Ronaldo himself it was obviously quite important his son needs to have some good long shots as well but instead of that for now i'm gonna go with physicality and try and improve that strength because as we know ronaldo himself is a big professional and his son is growing up in that household knowing how to train at a very young age so strength and core strength most importantly is going to be huge for ourselves here so that is what we are doing we are done with the skill points and here, the My Player gets even more interesting. Perks. Choose perks. Perks are significant boosts to your performance, which are triggered automatically during matches when you reach the level set for you. So we can actually activate perks. This is like Call of Duty, bro. 
Then we unlock them. When you hit a new level, you can unlock a new perk. Some levels will grant you additional perk slots, so you can cho choose multi multiple perks to assign to your player. That's huge as well. And then experiment-wise, there's no set path for you to achieve success. Experiment by loading the perks best suited to your player's individual style of play. Now, again, th this whole stuff, I will explain more as we get into it. I will be learning it alongside with you guys. But most importantly, here we go. We're going to start off with a perk slot. Defensive cover, not necessarily needed. Assist streak, boost passing attributes for a short time. 15 minutes after assisting a goal and grants the player swerve pass trait. And we have, again, defensive traits all around. So we're going to go with the assist one for now because we don't have any attacking ones unlocked yet. So we'll be using that down the line. So we have that one selected. Let's move on. Exit the assist. And let me show you which team we are using. We are using Salford City. Yes. And the reason why I have chosen Salford City for this is, first of all, they are in League 2, obviously. And... Another reason why I've gone with Salford City is obviously Gary Neville, the former teammate of Cristiano Ronaldo, is actually a, a, an owner of Salford City. And I thought it would be perfect for the first um, step for Cristiano Ronaldo Jr. to be joining a team owned by one of his dad's friends. He gets a little bit of, you know, oh, you're Ronaldo's son, let's play you type of thing. Who knows? Let's see how that goes. We have number seven, of course. Of course, we have number seven. And we are prepared to step in. By the way, Cristiano Ronaldo Jr. was very hard to create in the game. It was really, really hard to do. Uh, but I have done my best. And you guys can see him here on the right-hand side. The haircut is the, the closest I could get to his most um, like newest picture. So there we go. We have him uh, there with the South City kit. He is six foot tall. His dad is obviously six foot two around, six foot two, something like that. So hopefully he can get ab above six foot as well in real life. But uh, we can also go to edit players and I can show you guys something. Something absolutely massive. <laughs> We're not by ourselves here. We also have our buddy Kai Rooney with us. Yes, in real life. Ronaldo Jr. and Kai Rooney are playing together at Manchester United. We have taken them to Salford City to maybe create one of the best striker partnerships. Of course, I'm so excited about this. He actually looks very similar to how he looks in real life. I am very happy with the outcome of that one. Then we have ourselves right here. Ronaldo Jr. ready to roll a little bit of a tan because he's obviously going on holidays a lot with his dad and then we're going to go over to the top and i'm going to show you one thing else another aspect of this my player that is going to be huge is obviously the battle between ronaldo and messi it continues and it does continue in spain if i can go to spain for whatever reason i can't go to spain here what the hell is going on give me spain here we go we have put messi tiago messi yes messi's son is named tiago messi we have put him into the squad of Barcelona as well. He is 69 rated, higher rated than ourselves and higher rated than Kai Rooney. He is starting off his career at Barcelona at La Masia Academy and slowly pushing his way into the main team. So that is the setup for the my player. I can't wait to get stuck in. I can't wait to meet this man in the Champions League at some point and try and battle against him. Really excited about this prospect. If you guys are as well, again, make sure to support the video and let me know in the comments down below what you think of this one so far. Here you can see, by the way, in the player growth section, um, how much we can actually grow the player in certain areas. Pace-wise, we can only unlock uh, six more things. Uh, shooting, we have a lot to unlock, obviously. Passing quite a lot as well. Physicality and all that stuff, but pace is already quite high. And that is good to see. We are a center forward, though. That, a good thing is we can change position. Oh, yes. This is massive. Hey, EA, this is actually really nice to see. I'm very happy with this. So we are actually a striker. We're not a, um, a player that is sat at center forward. Now we have gone up to a 71 overall, though. So we are definitely more suited for that position. Even though we are one of the highest rated players in this team, sadly, I can't choose him to be lower rated. I wish I could have dropped him to like a 64. We have to prove ourselves. Currently, we are just a substitute. As you guys can see in the top left corner, our coach is not convinced with us yet. We have to prove ourselves. And the way to prove yourself is 
to go into training sessions. If you go into training sessions, you grow, you get a plus point on the manager rating. And of course, your player will continuously get better and better and better. Smarter and better. And better and smarter and better. And then you can use that XP to go ahead and spend it on, um, I think, on the uh, skill points, if I'm not mistaken. I mean, XP and you also can earn skill points. There we go. So that way we will be doing the drills on a weekly basis or most importantly, at the beginning of the My Player, we're going to be doing the drills. Since we are Cristiano Ronaldo Jr., of course, first of all, we have to do dribbling, okay? That's going to be huge. Then we also have to do shooting. There's no way around this. We're going to go on the heavy ones, of course. Um, I'm going to go on to, what is this? Under pressure. We have someone right behind us. I want to do the heavy ones for sure. This one is quite good. We are up against the goalkeeper, 1v1. Uh, we got to get past him and score. And the last one has to be, we have done dribbling. We have done shooting. Set pieces, lads. Set pieces all day. As you guys know, Ronaldo, also known as Penaldo. We're going to start off improving his, uh, his penalty taken immediately. Let's hop into these. This is an interesting training drill, you know. You can't really run in this. And you can tell, agility-wise, we're not there yet. I mean, movement-wise, we are tall. We look all right but we are not necessarily one of the most agile players in the team. And also this guy, my God, he's slow. This is definitely a center back or something. Oh, this one is tough. I always struggle on this drill. Best thing to do is to get past the goalkeeper with a fake shot. You got to angle it right though, because he does get his hands to it. I did get 1000 points for that one. There we go. That way you're actually able to get most of the points. You can't let the goalkeeper touch the ball because if he does, you basically don't get any points for it because, you know, this is EA. And we have, even though you made it, you're not going to make it type thing. That was beautiful. Probably should put more power behind it. Bang. No, he did get that one. I'm going to retry this one. I learned something just now. If you do the fake shot while holding sprint, it works way better than when you don't. So when you do it without it, it doesn't necessarily take the ball far away enough from the goalkeeper while holding sprint. Learn something new. Nice. Hey, people call your dad Penaldo. Show them that you can be Penaldo Jr. Let's go. Bottom right corner. Bang. Yes. Not the best pen, but the goalkeeper was sent the wrong way. So Penaldo in the works. That was supposed to go bottom left. <laughs> so we got to level up. We got to level two thanks to two A graded drills and a C, which didn't really work out the way I wanted it to. But we have unlocked the distance shooter perk. That is definitely going to be the one that I'm going to be putting on the player. And we have gotten ourselves three skill points. That way we are continuously improving ourselves as Cristiano Ronaldo Jr. before even going into a freaking game. So now that we have three points, I'm going to go with the pace real quick because pace wise, we can improve him very quickly. Um, so I'm going to take those skill points. And once we're done with pace, we're going to focus on the rest. Pace is going to be quite huge, obviously trying to get him behind the defense. 80 rated in terms of pace there. That is pretty good if you ask me. And then here we go into the perks. We're going to be choosing a new one. And that one goes straight there onto the left. This one gives you increased accuracy and power from long distance shots. Grants you the finesse shot and outside of the foot shot traits. And five star weak foot ability. Wow, that one is OP. <laughs> that is incredible. Archetype nodes though. Let me see. What is it? Oh, archetype nodes are these ones. These purple ones. Wow, seven skill points they cost. Oh my god. This one costs eight, but it gives you plus 12 stamina. That is massive. Okay, so the archetype nodes are definitely something that we have to get. In terms of pace, the last one gives you what? Plus seven, plus nine. Ooh, once we get there, it's going to cost us a lot, but it's going to be worth it. First game of the year, and we might just come in as a sub. 17-year-old Cristiano Ronaldo Jr. Play match, play nice player. When you're playing as player, you just have to control over yourself what you're able to bring to the game. You can focus 100% on your own performance. You can take control of the whole team. No, that's not what I want. Obviously, simming is possible as well, so that's quite cool. But we're going to be playing as ourselves, and it shows you immediately... We are coming in as a center attacking midfielder behind Kai Rooney in the 65th minute. Put me in, coach. Put in the headphones. Let's get ready. We have bonus targets. Okay. Recognize objectives. You'll be set three match objectives by a manager every time you step onto the pitch. Okay. Uh, reaching the targets set for you by the manager will boost your status in the team. If you can hit the enhanced level of a selected match objective, you'll earn XP bonuses. Put me in. 65th minute. 
Here we go. Safford City experiencing Cristiano Ronaldo for the first time. Cristiano Ronaldo Jr. Again, sorry about that. Get a match rating of at least 7.0. Get at least one goal or assist. Ooh, successful crosses. You know what? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go with goal involvement. I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it. We're doing it. And then we're going to go. Yep, that's the one that we chose, I think. So let's see how that works for us. We're playing as a cam. And the first moment we already lost the ball and we're we have just made a counterattack possible. OK, we got to be careful with it. Now, also, let me know, guys, do you want me to play with this type of camera or do you want me to use the be a pro camera? The one that is right behind your player and you see everything so beautifully. Header across to Kai. We're not going to be able to get that ball to him. That's us. Go on. Kai, I see you. The link up. Ah, oh, the link up for the first time. We played a great ball into him, but he hasn't been able to get that past the defender. Kai, obviously, um, around the 65 rating, if I'm not mistaken. So he's getting his chance. I'm getting my chance. Rooney and Ronaldo's sons getting their chances at Gary Neville's club. This is a beautiful story that is going to be developing into something extremely special. I know it already. Here we go. We're moving. Move it back to me. Rooney, he gets the ball. The movement is class. Down the right we have... Oh, Rooney! No! He was offside. He was making a great run though, Kai. I saw you. I saw you. Ronaldo. Moving it down to the left now into his teammates. We have some space here. Kai, pass! No! Beautiful, beautiful play. I just wasn't awake enough to put in that first touch. There it goes now. Rooney, great passing. Even better. Down the wing. Cross it into Rooney. Head it. Dude, you gotta head that. You gotta head that. Oh, we're creating chances though. We're creating chances and it's looking beautiful. One last attack maybe. Oh, that is gonna be the end of the game. No goal, no assist. But I feel like for the first time that we played for Southford City, we have put in a good shift. Didn't achieve any of the, of the objectives. Even if, even if I chose any of the other ones, really, it wouldn't have worked in terms of enhancing them. But it was our first game. Ronaldo Jr. has stepped onto the pitch and we are getting ourselves a 6.9 match rating. 27 minutes played. No assists, no goals. Again, absolutely love the new additions into my player. All this stuff is so nice to see. I really hope we can see this much of a step up in regular career mode as well soon enough in hopefully maybe FIFA 23, but here we go. Match facts. You can see ourselves. We got a 7.0 at the end. Okay. It wasn't actually a 6.9. I think we did well enough. I'm pretty happy with my performance. No goal, but we've shown promise. Look at that. We're getting the, uh, we're getting the locker room talk as well. A minus 22. Oof. Minus 22. We gained a lot of experience, but we have fallen in the eyes of the coach. Can you see him? He was unhappy with us. Oh, lads, we got to do much better next time around. The locker room, as you guys can tell, the players are not happy. It's basically everyone just thinking we could have had more out of this game. It's not my fault that we didn't. I, I tried my best. Another level up has just come in thanks to the great uh, training sessions that we had here. Uh, plus three skill points. Clutch save and all that stuff doesn't interest me, but we need to improve ourselves as much as we can as fast as possible to make the coach happier, hopefully, with our performances. Now, passing-wise, since he's playing me cam, I think passing is going to be quite important for us. So we're going to go with the short passing boost. All three skill points are going to be used for this, basically, and we can use it there as well. And uh, that way, we are sorted for a little bit better passing, hopefully, for the upcoming game. 55th minute or 56, I should say. We're coming in this time as a striker. The coach has realized that maybe moving forward would be better. Rooney is not subbed in yet. Second game of the preseason. I need to prove myself. So let's jump in there. So we are coming on this time. Again, I need to make sure what I'm doing here. So what is enhancing the objective? Which one is the one? I want to get the match rating this time. Okay, match rating. L plus hold select to an objective. Okay. I have selected. Okay, there we go. We have selected 7.0 objective this time. Let's see if we can get it done. Cross coming in right towards us. Heading is obviously going to be a big one for us if we can get it. Um, I need to be a good header of the ball because his dad was absolutely amazing in the air. So we got to try and 
do the same if we can. Good passing. Beautiful movement. Pass it back. Here we go. Cristiano Ronaldo Jr. hits the post. Unreal effort. Saved by the keeper and the post. Oh, the defense is opening up there massively. We can't let that happen, boys. We got to be a bit more careful with our movement there. Beautiful pass. I see my teammate down the right one more time. It's a good ball into him. He can still have control over that. He's going to be a throw in. Oh, is that Kai Rooney coming in? No, McAllany, whatever his name is. McAllergies is coming in. Down the right, we have some space for our teammate once again. I'm going to pass it. Passing it back to me. Space opens up. We keep taking shots to improve our average rating. It's working. There we go. Straight on to the move. If you guys haven't noticed yet. Oh, I have Ronaldo's running style on. That's the one. Come on. Cristiano Ronaldo Jr. Can he score? No. He can't. It's a 7.0 though. Mate. I gotta score that. It was the biggest chance of our career so far. Beautiful ball through. I asked for it. This time. Yes. So, let's go. Do it. Do it. So. <laughs> yes. Our first goal. Over the top through ball. I asked for it and we received it with the perfect run. Come on. First goal in our career. Yes. Beauty. Absolute beauty. Look at that run. Look at that run. I showed it with my hands. I said, give it to me. Good strength, composure, all the things you want to see. What a finish that was on the right foot with the outside. Keeper got close enough, but not enough there. We get the goal and the manager should be happy with us today. Yes. Good pass to me. We're going to make that run. Ah, Both of us on the right were kind of open. I don't know why we turned away there. I am stuck in between too many defenders. This is an issue. Oh, that's a beautiful ball. I'm going to hold on to it and pass it to my teammate again. Beautiful. There he goes. Come on then. Finish it. Get me that assist. Oh, yes. Goal and an assist for Ronaldo Jr. In his first big appearance for Southford. Obviously the first game we tried, but this is the first one where people are going to remember. This was the moment where his career started. Look at that. Putting it through into our teammate. I want to be that type of player, though. I don't want to be exactly like his dad. His dad, at certain points throughout his career, really didn't like passing the ball. <laughs> so I'm going to be a bit different with that. Cristiano Ronaldo Jr. is a bit more kind to his teammates, but still as ambitious. Nice. That's us again. Down the wings we go. What a beautiful pass that was. Why is he turning back? What's his plan? There we go. Look at that. The one twos are incredible. We're going to run through. Pass it. Mate, you have to pass that. You can't be that selfish. There we go. Oh, I try to set up my teammates with all my might. I see that run. That's a beauty one more time. Get that touching, silly boy. What a game for Ronaldo Jr. This will be remembered as the moment where he stepped up to the, to the plate and got it done. What a beast. Ronaldo Jr., thank you. Thank you so much for performing so well in this game. And a huge thank you to my teammates for actually making this possible. The lads have played a good game in the attack. After all, 10.0, 37 minutes played, one goal, four shots on target, one assist. Can't ask for more from a young lad that is only 17. Let me see the locker room. This time, the people should be more happy in the locker room. So let's take a look into that. Or are we not going to get that today? What the hell is going on? There we go. We do get the locker room. <laughs> Hey, player of the match. Let's go. Get in. We are the player of the match, boys. That changes things, man. Man of the match right there. Why did I say player of the match? Man of the match trophy in our hands. What a beautiful, beautiful moment that is. I am so satisfied with that. Looking forward to seeing more performances like this. Plus 15 in the manager rating. You can see we're getting close to starting lineup. Uh, potential if we can bring these performances all the time obviously that's going to be massive growth wise you can see here we're getting so much xp that will really help us to get to that level four as soon as possible objectives wise we have completed two of the objectives score from distance hasn't worked out but i did choose enhanced targets the match rating and that one kicked in big time so uh the players are happy with me i'm happy with my performance 
Let's continue the career. No extra growth points this time, but I think this will make for a beautiful first episode, guys. I am so satisfied with how things have gone today. We started off grinding in the first game, trying our best. Didn't work out, but at least we got our debut together with our teammate. So that was great. Kai Rooney along, uh, alongside us. Second match in the preseason. We are showing our worth to the coach. And hopefully we can take Salford to new highs in the future. So I'm excited about that. Hey, let's get it moving. This is the Cristiano Ronaldo Jr. My player. And that was episode one. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys had a great time. I can't wait to see what this journey holds for us. Can we reach like over 5,000 likes on this one as well? I really hope we can. Have a great day, guys. Catch you guys later. Peace out. Bye.